Warlocks can finally be healers now. Jokes aside, with the launch of Soul 3.0, everybody wanted the Warlocks to be a strong support or healing class like they were before Soul 3.0, but with some of the changes to their fragments and aspects and healing grenade becoming its own grenade, it kind of neutered the way you could play the support class. So with those changes, it definitely was not giving it as much love as the Titan or Hunter. And even though the Titan did get some changes in this patch, I'd specifically want to go over the Warlock ones in this video because I think they are drastically needed to fill that support role that everybody wants to play. Okay, so let's go over our first change and that is Icarus Dash. This is the easiest one to go over. This is just your normal Icarus Dash. You have your dodge and then when you have heat rises activated, you have a double dodge, but you have the additional effect while airborne, rapidly defeating targets with your super or weapon is going to grant you cure. Here is essentially just a burst of healing that you get. On paper, this sounds really good. And when you're in the air, it takes about three kills from both your super and weapons to actually apply that healing. It gives you a nice chunk of health. It's nothing too crazy. Crazy. but since you can't just fly in the air and constantly shoot people from the sky you're always going to have this active which can be pretty good and it is a nice little buff to Icarus Dash maybe to get more people to try to use it in PvE and I honestly do think that it's not the strongest thing being that it takes around three kills to proc in PvE is kind of crazy being that you don't actually get max health when you have things like Devour you can get one kill and get max health but maybe this is more of a PvP option maybe it'll only take one kill to proc cure because if it does I can see pairing things like Arena Fire and Vex with the class is going to be easier even stronger and it could be even very good pve as well we'll have to see i'm already trying to theory craft builds with some of these changes and i think that could potentially be a very strong one so if you guys would like to see those builds be sure to stick around the channel and turn those bell notifications on anyway let's go over the next changes and that is to heat rises so heat rises is the same thing you can fire your weapons melee and throw grenades in the air and then you can hold down your grenade and you can pretty much fly for a specific amount of time and then if you get final blows in the air it keeps extending that time and when you're in the air and you get kills you get melee energy we all know how packed of an aspect this is but they added more to it so now you actually activate your heat rises you see it says that it's going to release a burst of healing around you and when you consume a healing grenade it's actually going to increase the strength of the burst so that's essentially instead of having your store healing grenade on the ground you can actually consume any of your grenades and you're going to create this aoe burst which i think is very strong and this is definitely the more interesting aspect change and i think the one that you guys are going to look out for so if we just take a look at it when you activate your grenade you get cure times two which is the exact same thing a healing grenade would do if you throw it on the ground so you might be asking yourself well why would you just not throw the healing grenade on the ground well in this case you actually are going to proc heat rises which is giving you additional benefits and it seems to have a larger aoe than the normal healing grenades so you can actually just run to people consume your grenade and you're going to heal everybody whereas healing grenade maybe only heal you and maybe an additional person that's near you at the specific time of you throwing it but in this case you can kind of just be an aggressive healer just run up to your teammates consume your grenade and you're going to heal them for cure times two now the really cool part is that you actually use a healing grenade you're actually going to get cure times three whereas normal grenades give you cure times two so there is an incentive to use the healing grenade if you are trying to play the healer class even if you are using the aoe heat rises proc I think this is actually very strong now another additional benefit is that touch of flame if you have this equipped it doesn't list it on the stat sheet but as you see healing grenade improves the strength of cure and restoration effects applied so what this is going to do you're actually going to be able to use the healing grenade like we were just showing a second ago but if you have touch of flame equipped not only are you giving cure times three at a huge aoe you're also going to be applying four seconds of restoration, which means you're going to have pretty much max health once you proc cure times three, and then the restoration is going to top you off if you don't get to max. And again, this is in this AOE fill when you consume it with Touch of Flame. So if you compare the healing of cure times two and cure times three, it doesn't look crazy different, but it is going to be a little bit more. And I would imagine when you're in certain scenarios, maybe in a raid and you really need to survive, you can just run and proc this and you're going to really notice times three over times two. But having that restoration restoration on top of a times three cure whenever you need it procced and it applies to you and your teammates it's essentially a self-res option the downside to it is that you do actually have to charge it up instead of just throwing it on the ground but again the trade-off is where you can actually hit pretty much all your teammates and you and it's a little bit more healing than just the normal grenade i honestly think this has crazy potential i cannot wait to start build crafting around this and i think if you do want to play a support based role and just really focus on healing your teammates now is the best time to do it on the warlock class also another thing to note is if you don't even want to use this for teammates just having this for yourself is also insanely strong like i mentioned it's kind of like a mini self-res obviously you can't die in res but if you ever get weak even in solo play just consume your grenade you get heat rises proc 
and you just get to max health it is very very good it's very strong and it makes you very tanky especially if you are running 100 resilience now i guess another little small benefit is that ember of benevolence is now fixed so this makes it when you apply restoration cure and radiant to allies it's going to grant increased grenade melee and class ability regeneration for a short duration like i said this did get fixed but as you see it doesn't give an insane amount of ability regeneration like it used to pre solo 3.0 on the warlock subclass but i would imagine they did need to nerf it because if every class can do it it would be insanely strong i would like to see if the warlock could have a fragment selected maybe it can make it a little bit stronger but it definitely does give you a little bit more regeneration but it's honestly not anything I would recommend taking when you can have additional fragments but if you are going into a full support build taking ember benevolence might be the way to go and then for the final thing celestial fire actually did get changed to actually apply scorch to enemies so now every time celestial fire hits enemy it's going to apply 10 scorch and since celestial fire shoots out three explosives you can apply 30 scorch stacks and if you run the fragment where you get more scorch stacks this is actually going to increase it to 15 so now you can have 45 per melee but let's be honest nobody's going to run celestial fire over the snap because the snap is just so cool unless you are a sweaty pvp tryhard then you might actually start running celestial fire again but anyway that's going to do all for the warlock changes let me know how you guys feel about this in the comments below are you going to try to actually make a support based build on the warlock i can imagine if you have two really hot damage based teammates or in a raid your other five teammates just doing all the damage like bonk cameras or even things like burly barrage and then you're just kind of back there just killing them away so they never die constantly feeding them health cure restoration all those nice buffs radiant you can do that too and you're just keeping up keeping them strong i definitely think this does have a place in the game and i cannot wait to see the crazy things that everybody comes up with and if you guys would like to see some of my builds and if you did enjoy the video again be sure to stick around the channel consider subscribing dropping a like and turn those bell notifications on it really helps me out and our community grow and i truly appreciate it but anyway that's one draw for me i really hope you guys enjoy thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one peace